What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Uber Cold Garage. Uh, this week's episode, we're continuing with the bug. Uh, I reveal one of my secrets. Uh, so, hope you guys get excited for it. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Hope you guys enjoy. saw me recut these get a little bit more opening and now when you look at the car they are even before I kind of didn't really measure too well I cut them and they were the left one was bigger than the right one so now when you sit back and look at the car they're nice and even uh, I still have to take the sander and sand around the edges and bevel them in just a little bit. And then got to sand down the Bondo glass and do a skim coat of Bondo. Um, and then after that, this front section of the actual hood part is looking pretty good. So the hood, the hood after this, course you know I just painted it and it's all dirty but after I get these sections down here done then the actual hood is done um, still working on the fenders a little bit I uh, gotta mock up the passenger side and get that fiberglass to in and then we'll move on to some good stuff Well, that was um, quite a bit of fiberglass. So that section is now done. So once this dries up, I can fine sand the edges, get it all nice and smooth. Uh, 
So you can see now I have somewhere to bolt the front grill in. Uh, and with the extra fiberglass and steel inside the hood right here, it uh, will bring in quite a bit of strength. So I don't really have to worry about the hood flexing too much at high speeds, which is pretty nice because with the transmission and everything set up in this car, it should do roughly 150 or so. So that's a uh, quite a high pressure area for wind so this will strengthen it up quite a bit and then i have something else that will strengthen it up even more so we're looking pretty good still have quite a bit of fiberglass work to do uh as you can see here I mentioned earlier that the headlight buckets whoever fiberglass them in did it terrible job so I will be sanding that stuff out and refiberglassing the buckets in uh, getting rid of the bondo that somebody did uh, so the horn grill I'm going to actually make four mounting brackets onto that and the horn grill will go on the outside and on the inside will be a three inch duct for the front disc brake cooler so it'll push air into the the front discs keep them cool during any kind of track track time and I'm also thinking about doing a uh, fog light in there on both sides behind the horn grill so I always loved the way that looked I had fog lights on it prior to tearing the car back apart. So I think I'll go ahead and do that again. So let's keep moving forward on the hood. All right, guys, I don't know if I can hold this in any longer. Uh, I'm still waiting on two more packages, but the big secret is finally revealed. The bug is getting carbon fiber doors. So I will do a couple layers of carbon on the door skin itself. And then the outer door skin will get cut off. And then the carbon fiber ones will get epoxied on. Um, <clears throat> With the way that the doors came out, there's seriously five to six pounds of Bondo on the bottom. Um, I am not able to order door skins for a 65. I can order them uh, 64 and earlier, which the, uh, the trim line is different. So I, it would end up getting cut from here down, which would have it would have been the same nightmare that it, the actual door was itself. So this is the the best solution, and it'll lighten the car up. It'll definitely give it a different different look. Uh, I've never seen a bug that has carbon doors. Uh, it should be uh, rather interesting. So I have I have ordered 10 yards of carbon fiber. Uh, I've ordered the resin is on the way and the mold release stuff is on the way. So that stuff should be here probably by the end of the week. Uh, and then we'll start getting into some carbon fun. Uh, the basic cutout of the door, plenty of access, 
Uh, as you can see, it'll loop around. The end of the door is right there. So I got about an inch all the way around, inch and a half. So plenty of room all the way around. Uh, we'll eventually be trimming the corners just a little bit to fold them in. But there's the basic shape of the door. It's gonna, oh my God, it's gonna look so good. I cannot wait to see these. Um, there's actually one more big, huge surprise coming. So the, uh, the doors are going to be left in raw carbon. I hate when people paint carbon fiber. What was the point of doing carbon fiber if you're not going to show it off? So the doors will be left raw carbon. All right, so I got my mold release stuff. Uh, still waiting on resin, but I got the entire door taped off. Of everything that I don't want. The whole underside of the door is all wrapped. Uh, the inside window channel is all taped up. So no resin will get in there. And then... Uh, once I get it all molded on there, I can trim the excess around there without worrying about it looping all the way underneath. So as soon as my resin gets here, then I can wipe this down with the mold release wax and then spray some PVA on it to get the whole thing to release afterwards. And then I will cut the door skin off and uh, epoxy the new door skin on. So just waiting on that resin to get here. Now I'm gonna start working on the passenger side fender. Uh, I'm gonna get the hood mounted back up to where it needs to go. Uh, I need to trim the fender a little bit to get it to where it needs to be but the front is looking pretty good. Uh, I still have to fine sand a couple areas, just very, very lightly smooth it out. And then the actual hood itself is done. Um, still haven't got around to doing where the fender meets. Uh, I'll fine sand that out, get that all nice and good. Uh, the headlights, I actually did something different. Uh, the carbon that's on here was one of the first things that I did. Didn't turn out super good. The, uh, the bottom's all choppy and not that great. So I will uh, rip the carbon off of those and maybe make a mold of them. That way it's an, an actual solid carbon fiber piece rather than a layover. Uh, I actually tinted the top of the lenses. There's a couple scratches and stuff in the actual lens that I'll buff out and do that, but I tinted the top of the lens and I really, really, really like how that turned out. It looks really cool. I actually sanded the back side so light can escape through just little slivers all the way through it, which is really cool. Uh, the turn signal inside the headlight lens will change, get rid of that halogen old, old bulb, get rid of it, it'll get changed over to something else. Uh, the inside of the lens right now is actually a candy apple red. It's kind of hard to catch the actual light but uh they look really good really like the way the headlights are turning out uh i still need to buy actual headlights might make some projectors for it not a hundred percent sure on what i'm going to do there yet but once i figure that out you guys will get a video on them and the rest of the car is looking really good uh it's getting pretty darn close you know, 
few more body things to do and trim up some fenders, hopefully order some rims and tires shortly so then I can start doing my over fender, my flares for my fenders. And then the body's getting really, really close. Uh, cage stuff, still no word on cage stuff yet, but that'll come shortly. So we'll just keep moving forward on body and we'll get to the cage stuff once it gets here. All right, guys, that's all I have for you this week. Uh, sorry we didn't get into laying the carbon fiber, but my resin on order, uh, something happened with the shipping and they lost it. So the resin is on its way. It should be here shortly. So we'll, uh, we'll get into that next episode and continue working on the bodywork of the bug. Getting this thing looking really good. Uh, a lot will change real fast. So you guys stay tuned and like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave those and I'll get right back to you. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys.